In this video, I'm going to be explaining how armor works in Grey Zone Warfare. So that is the different tiers of armor, the difference between an armored vest such as this and an armored rig like this. And then I'm also going to be giving some like general tips on what is the best armor to use in the game. So first up here, we have two different armored vests. There's the CZ VIP and the Commander. Here, there's a FBS. So this is the different armor plates. And if you hover over this icon, the icons represent the various armor plates that are present on this type of equipment. So there is a front plate, a back plate, and a side plate. And depending on which armor you purchase or find in-game off an AI or an enemy player, there will be different plates on each armor. So this one right here, the CZ VIP, only has a front plate. So if someone shoots you in the front, this armored vest will stop those rounds until they begin going through. And then if someone shoots you in, let's say, the side or the back, there's no armor there. So it'll go straight through into your body dam damaging like organs and that type of stuff. But then this commander over here on the right hand side, this is both a front and back plate. But on this one, there is no side plate, unfortunately. You can see each of these armors has a durability bar. And as you use the armor and kind of get shot, the durability will go down. I do not think there's a way to repair the armor in the game at the moment. So you'll just have to buy a brand new armor set if you need that. And then there is also this NIJ protection level. On the CZ VIP, that's 3. And then on the Command Navy, it's 3A. We're going to be talking about this a little later on in the video. So here are four armored rigs. There's the CG PC3 TQS, the CZ4M Lancer, the Modular Operator Carrier Gen 2, and the Chest Rig 901 Elite 4. So starting off with the plate. This one in the bottom right only has a front plate. The one in the top right, the Lancer, has a front and back plate, but no side plate, sadly. This TQS one is very similar to the Lancer, only front and back plate. But then the one in the bottom left, the Modular Operator Carrier Gen 2, this is both a front, back, and a side plate, which is really good. I think I would rather have armor with all different plates, or at least a front and back plate, so that you don't get killed by, let's say, an AI, because the AI in this game are very deadly. And you can see these armors, they all have a different protection level. So this is 3A, 3, 3A, and 3. And then since these are armored rigs, these actually have a container size. So this is 9 container size, 8 container size, 8 container size, and then 12 container size. So if let's say I buy this Elite 4 and I equip it, so Elite 4, raid. So under the headphones, this is where your armored vest normally goes. But since it's an armored rig, it goes in here or here. It's the same slot. You can see here I have 12 slots for whatever item I want. So I could put meds there, I can put, let's say magazines from my other vest in here that type of stuff the problem with the elite 4 is if someone shoots you in the back or the side there's no armor plate there it's only in the front whereas the lancer it has the same protection level a bit less on the container size but then the actual armor is at the front and back so it's pretty decent and now we're going to be talking through the nij levels of protection so there is level 2 level 3a 3 3 plus and level 4. But moving down to level 2 this stops kind of pistol ammo level 3a stops larger pistol ammo so like revolvers that type of stuff level 3 is kind of it maybe is like a, a, a sniper round and then kind of like a basic 556 ammunition Level 3 plus stops green tip M855 556. So better kind of SR rifle or kind of general 556 ammo. And then level 4 stops some really beefy ammo. But I'm not too sure if there's level 4 armor in Grey Zone Warfare at the moment. I'll have to let you guys know. Mainly in the game, there is 3A, 3, and 3 plus. So of course, 3A is like the most basic entry tier. 3 is kind of the mid range. And 3 plus is what you're really looking for. So jumping back into the game, you can see these are the four armored rigs and we're going to talk through the levels of protection. So both of these on the left hand side have a protection level of 3A, so a bit more basic. And then these two on the right hand side are level 3, so these will stop larger rounds coming through. And in my opinion, the best one to pick here is the Lancer. It has a front and back plate and then also protection level 3. And then if I compare the Lancer to the two armored vests at the very beginning, the Commander Navy has a front and back plate, 3A rating. The CZ VIP is protection level 3, so 
the VIP is better than the Commander, but it's only a front plate. Then the Lancer is protection level 3 on the front and back. So it's by far the best kind of armor at Handshake level 2. And you can purchase this right here. It's $834. And now we're looking at a few of the helmets. So these are all from Handshake level 2. The TC-2000 has a protection level of 3A. The TC-2002 has a protection level of 3A as well. And the x has a protection level of 3A. So all these are very similar. And if you guys have the turncoat operator at level 2, you can have some helmets here as well. So let me open these up and let's compare which one is the best. The SSH is a steel helmet and it only has a protection level of 1. So this will probably not stop too much. So that is a big avoid on that one right there. And then there is the LCSH, which is 2A+. Plus, and then the 6B47, which is 2A+. So 2A plus is better than 2A, and that is better than the protection level 1, which is the SSH right there on the right hand side. And then this right here is a very good example of an armor with a very good kind of protection level, 3 plus, but its facial floor is it only has a front plate, so once again, if you get shot in the back or the side, you're pretty much dead. A few other things about the armor and kind of gear in this game, so you can buy a pair of headphones. I don't notice too much of a difference between these two, so the Ultimate Power Muff Quads and the Razer Pro Digital, there's not much of a difference. But there's a set called the GSSH, and they're actually really good. I prefer those over these two, and there's also a pair of like yellow earmuffs that you can buy as well. And if you're on the helicopter in the game, I would recommend wearing those. It pretty much blocks out all the like helicopter noise, it's awesome. There are glasses and goggles in this game, and they provide flash protection, but it's plus 0%, so I don't think this is working at the moment. I mean, there are flashbangs, but if this is plus 0%, there's no point really using that. It's a bit of a waste of money. Then, of course, there are backpacks. The only real difference is, like, how big it is on your back, how visible it is on your character, how many slots it has, and just how useful it can be. I normally just run the Amp 12. 20 slots for 290 is a very good value. I believe the starting backpack is the Scorpion that says only 16 slots. So I definitely go with the Amp 12. It's not that much more expensive. There are the belts here. These allow you to carry a few extra items. And you can put like an extra magazine, some hand grenades, that type of stuff in there. I normally just run the MC50 because that's with handshake level 2. If you buy an armored vest like the Commander or the VIP, then you can buy yourself a regular rig like this. This has no armor level whatsoever. It's purely for storing items. So this recon chest rig has a container size of 12. So you can store a bunch of magazines in that right there. If you want extra swagger points, you could wear something like this over a helmet. But if you get shot, you're probably dead. And uh, yeah, that was kind of the whole armor guide right there. The armor is pretty kind of confusing but once you get to know what each of the protection levels are it's pretty simple if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and i'll catch you in the next one